Singapore's national football team hoping to give their home fans something to shout about when they host Thailand in a World Cup qualifier. That's tomorrow night at the National Stadium. And both teams will be looking to pick up their first points after suffering defeats in their opening matches. Geraldine Yap tells us more. It's the final training session for Singapore before they take on Thailand under these very lights on Tuesday. The team want to repay the fans who are expected to turn up with a positive result. About 20,000 tickets have been snapped up. Playing at home, there's always high expectation for the team. It's always the motivation for any one of us to be back playing, especially in Sports Hub. So we should use this... Um, Motivation to to spur and do even better against Thailand, and you know to see that huge amount of tickets being sell out uh, for tomorrow's game. I think it's always good to give back to the to the fans, uh. and you know I always hope that we we have to go out and you know get something against Thailand. Coach Takayuki Nishigaya is aware of the scale of the challenge, acknowledging that Thailand are technically adept and have talented players in their midst. But he's urging Singapore to play collectively in both attack and defence. The Lions will be missing two key players. Centre-back Irfan Fandi suffered an injury in last week's 5-0 defeat in South Korea, while midfielder Shah Shahiran is suspended. Thailand will also be without their playmaker Chanatip Songkrasin, who picked up a knock in their 2-1 home defeat to China. Now, the head-to-head -head records are strongly in Thailand's favour, with Singapore's last win coming back in 2012. But Thailand's coach is not underestimating the opposition. We know that you are playing in your ground. We know that your fans will come to support your team. Uh, nowadays in football, we, we don't believe in, in easy games anymore. You play against South Korea that uh, we all know is a, is a very strong team. So that game is not so relevant for what we are facing here tomorrow. And you also have the same situation like us, like more or less to know that it is a, it's a pressure for, for the team to get the result because uh, the team that lose two games in a row is probably out of the race. For now, it's all eyes on the ball as both teams will be looking to secure their first points from Group C.